Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about depression and loneliness and how those affect my life and how I how I combat those. So to start off uh, with the depression and loneliness, if the number one thing to combat them is definitely the Word of God. Just number one right off, want to throw that out there. If you're struggling with that, the Word of God, that needs to be your refuge. That needs to be what can speak into your life because all these other things that I'm going to talk about, yeah, they may be great, but they're, they're no comparison for the Word of God. So, to talk about depression a little bit. Ways that I can get depressed are if I procrastinate on my work and I just don't do it, then I start to get depressed about the fact that I've got all this work to do. So it, it's it's extremely important to stay on top of that work and to be productive in getting getting things done. Another way for me to feel depressed is to listen to sad music, listen to sad songs, and I this is something that I don't struggle with as much anymore, praise God. But it's something that still is still is there. If I if I listen to sad music and I put that song on repeat and I just listen to it over and over and over, it will start to change my mentality and I will start to become more depressed. And the way to avoid that is don't listen to that music that is gonna make you sad. Don't don't have any part with it. And another another way that I can feel depressed, which is a little bit more more evident, is seeing sad sad photos sad videos of me or rather old videos and old photos of me seeing where I used to be and where I am now that can be depressing and the the way that I avoid that avoid those feelings stay away from that is just not to look at sad videos and sad photos I I stay away from that that way it's it's not to say that Looking at old photos and old videos that make you sad is is wrong. It's not to, not to say that we just don't want to stay there. We don't want to allow that to get into our life and depress us. And a final, a final part of depression, final cause of it, is just to be around people for me and and realize that hey they're doing these things and I'm not and I feel like I should be and I can't physically do those and the only the only way that I've really found to to steer away from that thinking is to think about the things you are good at. You know, not everyone is really good at baking cakes. Maybe that's not your specialty, you know? Maybe your specialty is more intellectual. Maybe you're better at taking tests than the people who are good at, at baking cakes maybe it's not your maybe it's not your specialty so 
the way to avoid that kind of depression thinking in your life is to change your thinking, is to realize that there are things you are better at than other people and there are things that other people are better at than you. So just just uh, try and avoid the avoid the thinking that other people are better at everything than you are, which is most certainly not true. All right, to turn to loneliness, which is the thing that I struggle with every day. I struggle with it more than I struggle with depression. My loneliness ends up causing my depression or it can. And I I really, I can't stand being lonely. I, I can't stand that. It, it's horrible. It sucks. I don't like feeling lonely. It's, it's a bad feeling that I have. Lonely feelings are something that are probably never going to go away for you or me. There is something that we are consistently going to have to deal with, to have to battle against. Their lonely feelings are, are they're present, but there, there are some ways to combat loneliness in my in my opinion and as as I said at the beginning of the video you know the word of God is is what you need to run to it needs to be your refuge if it's not then you can't successfully combat depression and loneliness and for me, one way to combat loneliness is to be around other people. It, it seems so, so obvious that that would be a solution. But just being around other people, finding that community, being able to be around people that are going to pour into your life. That is so important. It's so important that we find that community and that we grab onto it and we don't let it go. Another way that I have found to combat loneliness is just to do things. It's a simple, simple explanation, but Fill your life with things that are glorifying to God but are beneficial to other people and are beneficial to you. So, for instance, with me, I used to volunteer at the homeless shelter on Saturday mornings. That is something that is beneficial to other people glorifying to God and it, it was beneficial to me because it took my mind off the loneliness it took my mind off the fact that I'm I'm by myself most of the time it got me out there into that community so community is just so important to be in be involved with and, and these these lists that I've given these ways to combat depression and loneliness, there's there's ways that I've I've talked about. They're not an exhaustive list. Maybe maybe something else does it for you. I don't know. Maybe maybe going out on a walk or going for a drive. Maybe that helps you combat those feelings of depression and loneliness. And if if that works for you, then go for it. That is great. But the important thing to remember is to always have a foundation in the Word of God.